Hey, this is JC here at JC's Comics More, your pop culture superstore at 6725 West Central Avenue, Toledo, Ohio, 43617-419-531-6097. JC's Comics and More at Hotmail.com and find us on Instagram at JC's Comics and More. Find the Facebook link in the description below. This is Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. Uh, we've got some new merchandise. We've got some of the uh, Diamond Comics here. Uh, tomorrow is local comic shop day, so we have some of those. And I've got a box of Diamond Comics I'll be picking up in the morning. And then also, if you are in the Toledo, Ohio viewing area, be sure to check out uh, Channel 13 at 11. They came over, did a story. We talked a little bit about the local comic shop day. But other than that, let's get right to it. We've got in the Batman 1989, this is a Dynamic, dynamic Heroes uh, figure. Goes kind of with the Superman that came out a few weeks ago. Uh, this is the Michael Keaton Batman, lots of different interchangeable heads, hands, all kinds of neat stuff. We do have pictures on the shop's Facebook page as of right now. So you can certainly check that out. Uh, as far as other stuff that has come in, we'll get to it here. We've got an Ultraman. This is Ultraman with Gia. Uh, this is like A and B. The A is available for sale. Unfortunately, the B got a bit destroyed there. So I'm going to put in a uh, request and, and report that as damage. So get a replacement. Uh, from SH Figure Arts, we got in the Avengers, Tech on Avengers. This is the Captain America. This is very decked out. A lot of uh, bells and whistles with this here. You would have like he's throwing the shield and it's got like the lines like it's actually being thrown. Uh, mod change. You can, you, can, you can really have a lot of fun with this figure. Uh, I sold, uh, there was a Figure Arts Wonder Woman, and I want to say a Figure Arts uh, Spider-Man I sold to a gentleman on, yes, I think it was yes, yeah, yesterday. And thanks again, sir, for uh, purchasing those. From Brian Polito's Coffin Comics, we've got a Hell Witch figure. And she is decked out to the gills also. She's ready, ready to take you on your, your most, uh, your greatest nightmare fantasy. Let's see if how you can work with that. She's got a green flaming sword, and you don't know what is, where she's going to put that. Uh, and there's going to be others that they'll be doing at some point. Uh, it says features, six inch scale, 90, 29 points of articulation, accurate chest plate, uh, or alternative chest plate. Boy. Yeah, I'd like to see how that works. Two grip hands, two open hands, an energy shield, and supreme ferocity. So, Brian Polito knows what he's doing. He's uh, been doing it for a long time. Good friend. Keep up the good work, Brian. Next, I'm going to pause and we're going to grab the next. We've got the Marvel Diamond Gallery or Marvel Gallery. This is the Psylocke. PVC diorama. Very cool. They always do a bang up job with that. And it's got Psylocke's uh, uh, her telltale colors pink and purple. She's ready, ready for action, ready to put the hurting on the bad guys, on those bad mutants. We also got in. It's a little late getting out there, but this is a new Predator from the Concrete Jungle Deluxe Stone Heart Predator. This is a very large Predator. I know some of my Predator fans, uh, collectors, uh, like the more traditional size, but uh, you know he's a giant. He's a giant among Predators, and all kinds of different features and weapons and interchangeable uh, looks like mouthpieces and all kinds of neat stuff with this Predator. Cam, uh, cam Combat Ready, Destroy Scarface, uh, Boga, uh, Boga Industries' latest creation, 
Bogato's latest uh, includes LED lights, blades, interchangeable head and hands. Did not know that it had LED lights. That would explain uh, the price. It's a fairly expensive figure. Then also we got in the Marvel Select and it seems like these things shipped a little bit uh, quicker. The Beta Ray Bell figure. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting on Beta Ray Bell for a while. Look at him. He's got he's got his uh, his his uh, gladiator style uh, head headgear on. He's got Stormbreaker. Uh, Bill is ready to put a hurting on anyone who threatens the realm, or his uh, his uh, hammer brother uh, Thor. Look at him. Very 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 cool. And then finally, as far as the figures go, because we're going to have some of the comics we're going to look at, we've got the Vision. And, of course, he's in his, his traditional costume. It's kind of funny that they come out with all these action figures, and they never have them in their new outfits. They never do the new outfits. Well, sometimes they do, but it's always the traditional ones they do, which I think that kind of tells you something. If you guys are doing this with the action figures, change them back into the comics in their traditional comics. Maybe your comics might actually start selling well again. But look at him. He's got uh, a couple of different uh, head sculpts. Very, very cool figure of the Vision. It's, um, I only wish they would have had like an interchangeable uh, arm or something to make it seem like he's, uh, he's going intangible. Uh, on things much like where's it at here I think I still have the the uh, the diamond gallery uh, PVC diorama let's look over here yep there he is and this here this thing is very cool uh, his legs are like he's coming through that brick wall again the vision is such a great character such a great character and the uh, once husband of the uh, Scarlet Witch. And also, let you guys know, we do also have... And of course it's not going to focus, but we do have the first appearance of the Vision up there. Alright, I'm going to pause and we're going to look at this week's what, I, what Diamond Comics I have at this point. And we have some reorders as well. We'll start with these here. We got the Marvel previews in. They're bringing the Red Goblin back. I was just talking to somebody the other day about the Red Goblin, saying it was just too bad they didn't keep that going. That was a good concept uh, to have Norman and uh, the the symbiote. So who knows? Maybe this is, maybe it's gonna be Norman. Maybe it's gonna be somebody else. We've got the 06 uh, uh, Protocol Creep Show issue three. That's two of the covers. I think that's a one. Those are the one in ten variants. Eve, Children of the Moon, there's another cover I'm waiting on. G.I. Joe 300, this is cover C. I do have covers A, B's, and D's ordered of those. I uh, usually order one copy of G.I. Joe, but this is issue 300. This is the end of the era. Last issue for IDW. Uh, and by the last issue written by Tony Hama. So I ordered more, and we'll have those here tomorrow uh, by the time I open. Justice Warrior 6. The Magic Order number five. I think there's a black and white variant that we'll have coming in. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers 102. That is the A cover. There is a, another cover there, another variant. And also, uh, we'll just uh, take a quick moment of silence for the uh, death of the, of the Green Ranger. I know that's not the Green Ranger, uh, and it's uh, very sad that uh, whatever events in his life uh, uh, pushed him to take his own life. Uh, suicide's a hell of a thing. It's uh, something that I'm sure that um, I'm, uh, I, I'm not, I can't say I'm sure. I know for a fact that something that you don't just uh, do, you, you give it a lot of thought. And um, sometimes you... Uh, you find no way out, and you uh, decide to take that. And sometimes you um, you find the strength to go on. Uh, I know I've faced uh, faced that demon many times. Uh, you've got mindset number five. 
We got Once Upon a Time at the End of the World. There's going to be a local comic shop day edition of that coming out also. And there's a couple of the covers there. Parker Girls. That's only I guess, one copy for one customer. Uh, this is cover B of Robin Hood. Last stop. There's A, C, and D also. Scorched. I want to say this is cover B. That is cover B. Cover A's are also. This is cover B of the Star Wars Hyperspace Stories. This is Star Wars Tales from the Rancor Pit. Uh, hardcover. And ironically enough, or, or funny enough, I've got all the Kyle Holtz covers that have come out this week. Well, three of them, or two of them. And I looked at that, it's like, man, did Kyle do that? No, no. Now, this looks like Kelly Jones. Yeah, it was Kelly. Sure, sure enough, it is Kelly Jones. And Rich uh, Savage at uh, Monster Kid Studios commented on my my last video that, uh, that uh, Kyle stuff reminds him of Kelly Jones. It should. They're good friends. Uh, so... Uh, you can certainly see the Kelly Jones that uh, Kyle has used as his influence. Here's Vampirola Strikes, number seven. This is cover A. I've got B and C coming. This is D. This is one of the several variants that are there. We've got Vanish, number three. That's the cover A. Cover B is coming. There's cover C. That is the foil cover. That's coming also. That is Rogue State. That is the foil edition I should have had last week. New issue of Shudder. I know somebody is going to be very happy to see the Rise and Fall of the Trigon Empire Volume 4 coming in. I'll see him on Saturday. Let me grab the next stack. Here is a facsimile edition of Weird Number 1 from January of 1966. Obviously it was not $12.99 back then. That's the only copy I have. Now, speaking of local comic shop day, I've got more copies coming. But uh, this is, and that was the um, the basis of the story that's going to be on channel 13 tonight, a local comic shop day. And uh, thanks to Tony for uh, thinking of us. Uh, but this is a gatefold cover. This is Behold Behemoth. I'm a bit disappointed it has nothing on here about local comic shop day. But still, that's a pretty pretty cool cover nonetheless. We've got this Tori Amos hardcover, Little Earthquakes. That's the only one I ordered of this. The illustrated uh, Al, the songs of Weird Al Yankovic. That's the only one that I ordered of that. Uh, I know somebody... Uh, I wanted, uh, wanted this, so I reordered this here. It's Lonely at the Center of the Earth, so I've got that waiting for them. And I can't remember, I think Mr. I think, uh, I think Kevin, I think it was Kevin wanted me to order Mr. Easter for him. So I get your copy for you, Kevin. Um, don't pick on Sean anymore. Uh, Overwatch, that's for uh, Josh. The Star Wars Obi-Wan number five. Uh, somebody was asking about that, so I made sure I reordered that. And here is the Kevin Eastman cover for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Armageddon game on uh, number two, cover C. I've got that set aside. And I have finally have got more of the last Ronin hardcovers back in stock. Very happy to have these back in stock. So if you do like these videos, please subscribe to the channel. We're getting close to 2,000. Let's, let's get on, get there and get past it. Hit the bell for notification. Like, comment, and share. And other than that, have a great new comics day. Don't forget to uh, thank your comics retailer and also wish them, as they should be wishing you, a happy and safe Thanksgiving. And happy thanks and safe Thanksgiving to everybody out there. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.